This is a kid. This is a kid's spine. Watch what happens when we add a backpack and typical load of school books. Yikes! And you wonder why your neck, shoulders, or back hurt, or your muscles feel tired and weak. Some kids are wearing an extra 20 pounds or more in their packs. That's the weight of a car tire or a small toddler. No wonder you hurt. Pain is your body's way of getting your attention. The nervous system is like an information superhighway, made up of the brain, the spinal cord, which is protected by the bones that surround it, and the nerves that exit the cord. Electrical impulses travel to and from the brain, yum. up and down the cord, yum. through the nerves, to every place yum, in your yum, body. Yum. This includes cells, organs, hands, legs, yes, every place, communicating with your brain. Heavy backpacks put extra weight on areas that can be sensitive, like your shoulders, change the way you stand and walk, affect your balance, make your spine crooked, which is called scoliosis, pull bones out of alignment, and cause damage in your spine that can lead to disc degeneration. Sometimes the bones making up the spine move slightly from where they normally would be. This can affect overall ease of movement, and if the nerve or nerves exiting this area are damaged or irritated, the messages trying to get back and forth will be altered as well. Your life and health literally depends on your nervous system working correctly. The messages can only get through if the way is clear. If there's any interference along the line, the message might arrive in pieces, late, or not at all. Did you know that the weight of a human head is 8 to 10 pounds? When you carry your heavy backpack, it makes your head move more in front of your body, causing it to weigh more like 20 or 30 pounds. This affects bone alignment and stretches ligaments and muscles to accommodate the new posture, which can lead to nerve interference. So, what to do? Well, you could take an aspirin or other drug, or you could ignore your symptoms and hope they go away, but none of those choices do anything to solve the problem. Here's some suggestions. Lessen the load. Work with your school, teachers, and parents to carry less weight around. It's not just books but all that other stuff as well. Set up a classroom experiment. Have every student weigh their backpack. Keep track of the weight of the pack for a month, then compare with other classes in the same grade. Try to lessen the load. Your backpack should be no more than 10% of what you weigh. Continue for three or four months and see if there's an improvement. Wear your backpack correctly with both straps over the shoulders. Wearing your pack over just one shoulder puts your spine out of balance and stresses that side. See your chiropractor. Chiropractors are doctors specially trained to catch changes with your spine, nervous system, and posture early. They work to realign bones in your spine and joints by making gentle adjustments that keep your nervous system communicating like it should. By taking care of things you can't see now, you prevent pressure and stress building up inside, which may turn out to be a lot more painful and expensive later. Plus, it feels great, and you get to see the power of the body at work as you heal. So, lighten up.